hey teacher, what's up? Today I'm going to I am going to talk about Bermuda Triangle. Oh no, Bermuda Triangle. Well helicopters, airplanes and men they have all been sucked into the Bermuda Triangle at some point of time or the other. None of them have ever returned. It is impossible to provide details of the first such disappearance because of erratic record keeping over the years. But it was the US Navy that first brought the Bermuda Triangle mystery into the lion's life. Every investigator, investigator worth his salt has postulated a number of theories that attempt to satisfactorily explain the mysterious happenings at the Bermuda Triangle. Some of the most of the more bizarre explanations include extraterrestrials, the presence of a huge magnet, the position of the moon, sudden appearance of giant waves, time space warp, electro electrostatic chairs, and the return of the inhabitants of the lost city Atlanta. One of the problems faced by those documenting the, the missing ship and aircraft is the fact that there is lack of reliable data. One of the more credible theories seems to belong to Dr. Richard McGeever, who centers his explanation on the presence of methane hydrate. All this activity on the sea bed occurs that the ages of tectonic plates, where there is constant activity as a result of the pre pressures beneath the Earth's crust. Any wreckage, wreckage sinking to the bottom would be lost forever beneath the moving plate. The latest myth that is doing the rounds is that there have been disappearance in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. This means that the Bermuda Triangle is widening in scope.